Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a fascinating topic that bridges the gap between the cosmos and our own minds. Imagine this, a few years ago, astrophysicist Franco Vaza and neurosurgeon Alberto Faletti met up at a bar. As they caught up, an intriguing idea emerged. What if the universe and the human brain are more alike than we think? Vaza from the University of Bologna took on the challenge of comparing the brain's neuronal network to the cosmic web, the vast structure of matter in the universe. Despite the massive difference in scale, the patterns they form are strikingly similar. This resemblance has led some scientists to propose that the universe might possess a form of consciousness. Could it be that the universe is a thinking entity? This brings us to the concept of panpsychism, the idea that everything has a mind or a mind-like quality. This theory has been around for centuries, with roots tracing back to ancient Greece. Even Plato suggested that the world is a living being endowed with intelligence. In recent years, developments in neuroscience, psychology, and quantum physics have reignited interest in panpsychism. Panpsychism offers a simple yet profound solution. Consciousness is a fundamental part of reality. It suggests that all matter, even particles, has some form of basic consciousness, this idea helps us understand how human consciousness arises, as our brains are made from these basic units of consciousness. Through a series of processes, subatomic particles come together to form atoms, which then combine to create molecules, cells, organs, and entire organisms. These structures represent increasingly complex layers of connections within quantum fields. Now, let's talk about the cosmic web. The universe contains an estimated 100 billion galaxies, forming a cosmic web of filaments composed of ordinary and dark matter. Interestingly, this cosmic web looks surprisingly like a network of neurons in the brain. Vaza and Faletti's research showed that the distribution of matter in the cosmic web follows a similar pattern to the neuronal network in the brain. They used power spectrum analysis, a technique from astrophysics, to study the large-scale distribution of galaxies and found that the fluctuations in the cosmic web mirrored those in the brain's cerebellum and cerebral cortex. But what does this mean for our understanding of consciousness? Some theories suggest that consciousness might be the overriding force behind brain functions, influencing the brain rather than being a product of it. This idea is part of ongoing debates in quantum mind theories. If the brain is an integral part of a quantum network or field through which consciousness manifests, then perhaps the brain exists within consciousness rather than consciousness existing solely within the brain. Philosopher Philip Goff offers a different perspective. He suggests that particles are manifestations of quantum fields, which could be the basic units of consciousness. While this doesn't mean the universe can think reflectively, it raises questions about how consciousness might influence the universe's evolution over time. Goff's ideas challenge us to consider whether this fundamental mind could play a role in shaping the cosmos. Despite these intriguing ideas, Vaza remains skeptical. He argues that just because two things look alike doesn't mean they function the same. The universe is vast, and any communication within it would be extremely slow. Plus, we can't even define consciousness, so attributing it to the universe seems premature. In the realm of quantum mechanics, consciousness might play a fundamental role in how the universe works. Some physicists believe we live in a universe made of information, not matter. This view suggests that reality is interactive with human minds, and consciousness is essential for interpreting the universe's complex mathematical meaning. John Wheeler, who coined the term black hole, believed that quantum mechanics implies we live in a universe made of information, not matter. He described the universe as interactive with human minds, suggesting that our observations might influence the universe's state. As we explore these ideas, we find ourselves in an era dominated by artificial intelligence and machine learning. The universe as a vast neural network is a metaphor that resonates with our growing ecological awareness. Our brains, with their complex networks of nearly 100 billion neurons forming 100 trillion neural connections, mirror the cosmic web in a way that challenges our understanding of consciousness and reality. These neurons are organized into networks of nodes, filaments, and clusters that shape our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. In conclusion, 
The journey towards understanding reality and consciousness is an ever-evolving quest. It invites us to challenge our assumptions, expand our horizons, and embrace the limitless possibilities of the unknown. The idea of cosmic interconnectedness evokes a sense of awe and wonder about the universe, suggesting that we are all part of something much larger and more intricate than our individual lives or the collective human experience. Thank you for joining us on this exploration. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the other part on your screen. Until next time, keep questioning and stay curious. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating content. See you in the next one.